Washington State Patrol is issuing a warning tonight after a group of teens have been accused of three carjackings in just two days in the same area of I-5. Two of those cases happened right here near South 320th Street in Federal Way. Thank you for joining us for the News at 10. I'm Sabir Rayford. And I'm David Rose. The victims say the suspects hit their vehicles from behind, forcing them to pull over. That's when the teens jumped out with guns drawn. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling joins us live tonight. So, Jen, what else do these carjackings have in common? These carjackings have all taken place very early in the morning, with the first starting on Sunday at around midnight, then two more happening again around midnight early this morning. One of the victims in this case gave investigators a big lead, however, when he used his cell phone to track his stolen vehicle, leading to at least one arrest. It's real scary for, for anybody who's driving. Angie Holmes shops just off of 320th near the stretch of I-5 where the Washington State Patrol believes a group of teens target multiple drivers, ramming their vehicles from behind at high rates of speed, then stealing their cars at gunpoint. The fact that it's on I-5 makes it even scarier because people are traveling, traveling at high rates of speed. So not only if they're actually ramming them and then getting them off the highway, that's putting even more people at risk. WSP spokesperson Rick Johnson says the first incident happened just after midnight Sunday when a driver was bumped by a white SUV. Then they pulled to the shoulder. Six young men, some wearing masks, jumped out with a gun. They stole that vehicle at gunpoint. Detectives believe the teen struck again this morning in the same SUV near Fife. White SUV bumped another vehicle and uh, subsequently they pulled the right shoulder. Same thing. Stole the vehicle at gunpoint. Just 30 minutes after that, WSP says the mask got in a white SUV repeated the pattern, stealing a second car in Federal Way near 320th. Detectives say later someone tried to use a victim's credit cards at the McDonald's on 320th in one of the stolen vehicles. Luck was on the side of at least one other victim. Investigators say the gunman took his phone but threw it out. He found the phone, then used it to track his stolen car. Law enforcement found it in Federal Way. The driver tried to flee and was chased and arrested near MLK Boulevard. The rest of the group is still on the loose. If you see you know, individuals getting out of the vehicle that behind you um, that match this description with masks on, be prepared to, you know, to take off and get to a public place as, as, as quickly as you can. Of course, down 911, you know, immediately. Holmes says she's just glad she's not on the road after dark. That's daunting. Um, and in this day and age, to be honest, I'm not surprised. Washington State Patrol says there were two girls under 18 in the car with the suspect when he was arrested. They were returned to their parents, and it's believed they were not involved in the carjackings. There is still a group of suspects on the loose, even though investigators have made some progress on the case. So they are stepping up patrols in this area near I-5 in order to try to get eyes on that white SUV or to prevent another carjacking. Reporting live in Federal Way, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.